and I did not bulk once. How I slim down different parts of the body, making sure that I'm not bulking them. Now, as you guys know, I always say to really slim down your thighs and get a good slimming process. If you're doing a weight loss journey and you feel like you've gained weight because when you step on the scales, your weight has gone up. Hello daily student family, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing good. If you're new here, please do subscribe, my name's Kimberly and I hope you stick around and stay for the journey. As you guys know, on this channel I do like a weight loss series where I discuss how I slim down different parts of the body and really refining how to do it effectively on the perspective of you guys and what I've learnt as a real good method to incorporate. And one of the things that I frequently get asked throughout my weight loss series is how do I slim down my thighs with making sure that I'm not bulking them. And before we go into it I think that no matter how messy your body is every body is beautiful speaking on the preference of some of you guys who have been asking about it and what you can do I've collated how you can do that because again you guys know I was doing CrossFit I was working out every single day at very high intensity very high weights and I did not bulk once again the result of all that working out every single day week after week after week month after month was just my thighs slimming down so this is exactly how you avoid a bulkier physique and just slimming down as it is. So first things first, just to really set this video off, I just want to clarify that it's very, very difficult to bulk up. Like, you know when you see people who are very, very, you know, muscly and who have very muscly legs, very muscly toned physique? It is very hard to actually get there. You have to bear in mind that these people are eating the protein, working out religiously, putting in higher and higher intensity weights, benching and weighting more weight than you can ever even consider or even comprehend. Like, it takes a lot to actually even get there. They are putting in loads and loads of work. So I definitely do not think that you going to the gym for an hour and lifting weights is gonna give you that physique. Like they are putting in the grind. So first of all, don't be afraid that it's gonna happen because it is a, it's a lot of work. We have to commend them for that because it takes willpower to even get to where they are. Now, you guys know to really allow your body to target one specific area to lose weight there. Because I know that when I went on my weight loss journey, I would lose weight everywhere else, but my thighs were just so stubborn and they wouldn't go down. Now, weight training. CrossFit. Cardio is not going to be your main thing and source for losing your thighs. It's going to be the cardio. It's going to be the CrossFit. It's going to be weight training. A lot of people's fear is that when you're weight training, you're going to gain loads of muscle and your legs are going to be very muscular and bulky. Now, this is not an easy result to happen. And what you're doing by doing CrossFit and you're doing by doing strength training is you're building up muscle that will burn the fat around your thighs. And that's how it kind of like targets that specific area. In order to really bulk your legs and really get there, you're going to be having to do higher and higher intensity every single time consistently religiously to even get there if you're going once a day continuing a routine where you're not starting at 20 kilogram squats and going to 180 and then even going beyond that you're not going to be bulking you won't be religiously increasing and increasing and increasing every single time for the intensity elements and ingredients that would have to go hand in hand with really seeing a massive bulk now as you guys know I always say to really slim down your thighs and get a good slimming process crossfit and strength training is what really helps me for that. The reason for this is when you're trying to target a specific area within your body to lose weight, you have to build up the muscle in that area because muscle burns fat. The muscle will burn fat even hours and hours after your exercise. Another little side note that I'll add in there is that a lot of people say that you're doing a weight loss journey and you feel like you've gained weight because when you step on the scales your weight has gone up. Now, if you're doing muscle training, you're toning your body, you're doing crossfit, all these other things, especially within the gym, you are going to have a, a larger result on the scale and that's because muscle weighs more than fat and that is okay. Someone who is a hundred pounds on the scale who does muscle training can look a hundred times slimmer than someone who weighs 80 pounds and doesn't do any muscle training because muscle really does sleek down the body completely. It really really does refine it and you would rather be a hundred pounds and look sleek if that's what you're trying to achieve than be 80 pounds and have the result that you're not trying to achieve. So that's another thing I'll just add in there for you guys to bear in mind when you are going on your weight loss journey. Now the importance of CrossFit and weight training comes with a lot of people being apprehensive about the fact that if they do that they will get very muscular and bulky and that's not what they're trying to achieve. In order to even achieve that I want to start off by saying you have to be increasing and going at a very very high intensities every single time. Not only that it's the food composition that you even do. Now what is also very important within this process is that you are watching your foods. Now eating foods that are very very 
carb and fat heavy is going to make your thighs grow even more, especially if you're working out. If you guys have ever heard of a lean, eating a lean diet is very important to really want to slim down and look slender and have a slender result in your thighs. Eating leaner foods will make sure that when you're creating the muscle within your body, it's not just taking the existing fat and making it bigger because of more and more fat being applied to your body. So it's very important that you're eating a leaner diet and you're changing up the, you're changing up the things that you're eating, less fat, less sugar, less starch, less carb heavy. It's very important to try and have a more balanced and healthy diet, especially if you don't want to bulk up any part of your body. The other reason why your food is also very important is because during this process, you want to be speeding up your metabolism. Another reason why your legs can get bulkier when you're doing these muscle workouts, if your food is also bad, is because the bad food is also going to slow down your metabolism, which is why your legs would end up growing. By eating a lot leaner, it will speed up your metabolism, which will allow an, an effectively result in more of your thigh fat slimming down. So really, really cracking down on your diet to make it leaner, healthier, will also change your mindset. The process will be a lot smoother. It's just a general, more healthy way when your mindset and your food completely matches where you're trying to go, where you're trying to be. It's going to give you better results. Now, I hope that's clarified a lot of your questions. For anyone who is worried about bulking up when starting your weight loss journey for your thighs and slimming those down, that it has clarified a lot of things for you and how difficult it actually is to end up very bulky. So don't feel hesitant, get to the CrossFit, get to the gym, get to your muscle training and take your time and just have fun with it. Now guys, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a single video and I wanna see all your beautiful faces in the comments every single video and when my videos go live because I premiere every video. And this is my motivational Instagram page and then this is my personal Instagram page. So come over, follow me on Instagram and DM me, whatever you wanna do. And I'll, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys, love you.